Hello everyone and welcome back to Bitcoin Tips. So today we're going to be talking about how you can start mining cryptocurrency using your Mac OS based computer here in 2025 in less than 10 minutes. So if all of that sounds interesting to you, I do want to make sure to ask you to stick around through the entire video so that you don't miss out on any of the great tips and tricks that I have for you to keep and earn more cryptocurrency mining with your Mac, allowing you to build your holdings even faster. Also, I do want to take a quick second to note there are some changes here in my videos. You will notice a few breaks in the video. This is due to a change here with the YouTube platform. Um, if you're interested in learning more about that, I do have a full length video that I'll link in the description below, but appreciate your understanding. So before we dive into the tutorial, I do always like to start off here on CoinMarketCap, just taking a quick look at what's going on in the crypto markets as a point of reference, if you happen to be watching this video in the future. So if you aren't interested in this portion, feel free to skip ahead one to two minutes and we'll be getting into the content then. But overall, as you can see here, crypto is up about 5.64% today to a total market cap of $2.88 trillion, which is really nice to see. Now, we've had a lot of fluctuation in the crypto coin markets recently, but overall, we are starting to trend back up. And I do think we still have a few months before we start seeing crypto all time highs. So with that being said, now could be one of the best times to start mining. Now you may also be wondering what coin should you be mining? Well, the site we're looking at today is actually unminable. And if you're unfamiliar with this site, basically it allows you to mine coins that aren't traditionally mineable or coins that are mineable but require a lot of computing power specialized ASICs, lots of electricity, things like that. Um, so there's actually 92 different cryptos that you can choose from and this tutorial will work for any of these coins with the exception of just changing two steps which I'll mention as we go through the process. So if you're interested in following along, the link to Unminable is down in the description below. If you use that link, it will actually save you 25% on your pool mining fee, which we'll talk about in just a minute, or you can navigate over to unminable.com. Once you're here, what you're going to go ahead and do is select get started with our guided setup. There's two options, basic and advanced. I always recommend basic, but advanced is there if you're interested. Um, once you get into here, if you're following along on Mac, what you're going to do is choose the CPU option. At this time, I don't know of any GPU options that allow you to mine, even if you do have one of the newer M series Macs with a decent GPU, you will still have to go with the CPU option. I'm going to be basing this off the Random X, which is an XMR based algorithm. I do recommend following along here, but they do also have Ghost Rider, if that is a little bit more profitable for you. Um, here is the first section where you get to kind of choose your coin. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just do this based off Dogecoin because it's a popular coin. Um, it's pretty cheap and easy to get and there's a lot of potential in the coin. So I'm going to be going with Dogecoin, but please feel free to choose whatever you are most interested in. Um, and then at this point, you're going to enter in your Dogecoin address. Now, again, this is the second step where if you chose a different coin, say you chose XRP or Bitcoin or really any of the other coins here on the site, you're going to want to make sure that you choose the address that aligns to that coin. If you don't use the proper address, everything will work as expected but you won't be able to get paid out. So I'd hate to see you mine, build up a decent holding here on the site, and then unfortunately just not be able to get paid out. So please double and triple check that this address is correct. And then what you're gonna go ahead and do is move on to the next page here, which is where you can enter in a referral code. Now I have a code which if you use the link in the description, it will auto populate, or if you just navigated to the site like I did here, you can go ahead and type it in. It is Bitcoin dash tips, capital B, capital T. Now what this does is it actually saves you 25% on your pool mining fee. Here on Unminable, there's a 1% mining fee, meaning if you mine 100 Dogecoin or 100 of any coin that you're looking at, one of those coins is going to go to Unminable. It doesn't matter if the coin, and in this case Dogecoin, is 
20 cents or 20 dollars it doesn't matter if you mine those hundred coins in a day or in a year you're always going to pay that one percent so with that being said i always do recommend using this code but if not feel free to continue and use you know without the referral code um, you will pay that higher fee um, but if you do want to save a little bit enter that in and go ahead and say next now we are at the final step where you're going to download some files and get started. So the first thing you're going to want to do here, we're going to use the XM rig option, which is right at the top. Select this download minor files button. This is going to go ahead and bring you to the GitHub for XM rig. Scroll down a little bit and you'll see under the assets section, several different options. Now you're going to want to make sure to choose the right option. If you're following along on Mac OS, there are two options here. There is X64 and ARM64. The option that you're going to want to go with, it depends on the Mac that you have. If you have an older legacy Intel based system uh, such as the one that I'm using you're gonna go with the x64 if you have a newer Mac that has the M series chip whether it's the M1 the M2 the M3 or the M4 you're gonna go with the arm 64 option if you are not sure what Mac you have what you can do is come up here to this Apple and select the about this Mac at this point here, you can see I have an Intel based uh, CPU, um, whereas here, this would say that you have a different uh, based CPU for the M series. So once you do that, download this and extract it. Um, this will download as a zipped file. Uh, Mac OS has a built in extraction tool. Um, so just double click that it should open up and then you will be able to extract it. Once you do that, you're going to get a folder that looks like this. You're going to have three files, a file called config.json, a SHA-256 sums, and the XM rig application. At this point, we need to edit this config.json file to hold your specific mining information. So what you're going to do is double click this to edit it in text edit. Um, a lot of the information in here might look a little uh, scary or you know confusing but good news is, is you can skip over that for the most part the section we are interested in here is the pools section we need to update two lines here which is going to be the URL line and the user line now you can see that I already have my information set here but I want to show you where to get this information so let's start with the URL what you're going to do is come back over here to your browser and go to unminable and as you can see here the URL is rx.unminable.com and the auto set port is 443 I know for me that doesn't work so I always recommend using port 3333 I've had a lot of really good luck with that um, but you are more than welcome to try that 433 I'm sorry, 443 option as well. So what you'll do is just copy and paste that into the text edit here. Now I do want to make sure to mention that in this URL, you should have an open quotation and a closed quotation at the beginning and end. Um, that needs to be there and then immediately following that needs to be a comma. If any of those get missing, get deleted, whatever it might be, this will not work so if you start getting errors come back in here make sure you didn't miss any of those uh, commas or quotations they are there by default so as long as you don't delete them it should work um, that goes for the next one as well so the user section is basically going to tell the miner how to mine where to pay you and who you are essentially so as you can see here we have the uh, in this section there's a dash u what you're going to do is copy everything from just after the dash u so starting in this case with doge it'll say whatever coin that you chose there all the way through the address and then dot unminable worker and then it'll be hashtag bitcoin tips if you use my referral code so everything that i have highlighted in blue is what you're going to want to copy and bring over to this text edit and paste in under the user column again quotation at the beginning quotation at the end and then a comma at this point you shouldn't have to change anything else now if you get to the next step and you have connection issues 
come back in here try a couple different ports um, on unminable they have several different ports listed uh, if we just jump back to the front here they've got 4444 and 443 and then they have the the 3333 option. They also have 13333 and port 80. It's hard to tell what's going to work best for your network, but I do like to mention that there. So what you're going to go ahead and do is just come back here, just do a file save, and then you should be good to close out that text edit. Now, all you have to do is go back into this folder and start the miner. Now, when you first start the miner, what you're going to want to do is right click and say open. The reason for this being Mac OS doesn't like these files just because they came directly from GitHub. So you will get an error that says, hey, we couldn't verify this file. Um, it, you know, it'll say, you know, we couldn't verify it was free of malware or anything like that. Um, I've personally used all these files on my personal computer. I've never had any issues with it, but it is an error that you can't really get around unless you just accept it. Um, so by right clicking and then saying open, it will give you the option to open the file and move forward. So because I'm recording here on this computer, I don't want to start it and you know overwhelm the, the computer here. But at that point, you will be up and running mining cryptocurrency using your Mac OS based computer to unminable. Now it does take five to 10 minutes for the stats to show up here on unminable. So you just can see your earnings and other things here on the site. That's completely normal. Although if you don't see anything after about 30 minutes to an hour, you may have something configured incorrectly, uh, whether it be the address or you know something like that. So just go back through, make sure you got everything copied and pasted correctly. And of course, if you do continue to run into issues, please feel free to leave a comment down below. Let me know what's going on if you're getting any specific errors. Always happy to help try and troubleshoot and get you up and running. And when you're ready to be done mining, all you have to do is close out that terminal window and you're done mining. Um, you may continue to see payments and stats on the website here. Even if you've stopped that miner, that's completely normal. I wouldn't worry too much about it since you are still getting paid and you're not having to do the mining. So with that being said, please consider hitting the like button and subscribing to Bitcoin Tips to stay up to date on all things crypto. It really does help us out and allow us to provide these videos here for you on YouTube for free. And if you're looking to support us a little further, consider checking out the channel membership or super thanks down below. Of course, any support in that area is greatly, greatly appreciated. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.